Hey guys, my name is Nicole. Happy Saturday. I'm going to a yard sale down the road. It's actually right down the road from where I did my biggest um, antique haul. Wow, I have not had my coffee yet, ever. So I posted that video a few weeks ago and this house is just a couple of houses down. So I am definitely gonna go check it out. And I thought I'd bring you guys along. And I have a little helper here. He needs a haircut. So we're gonna go do some errands this morning. So let's go. Okay, so I'm back home now. The yard sale was a bit of a bust just because I think I was just a little too late. I was so proud of myself for getting out of the house at like 8.30, but I was still later than some of those diehard yard sailors. Let me flip the camera around. I'll show you the two pic picnic baskets that I got today. And then I'm gonna share with you a quick DIY upcycle with them because I've had this project in my mind for a while now. I haven't made the time to do it but I think it's gonna be really easy and it's gonna be one of those projects that is gonna be inspirational for you guys and really easy for you to replicate. So let me jump right into these baskets and show you my idea for a simple upcycle on these. Okay, so these are the two that I just got at the yard sale. This was $5 and this one was $5. So I thought that was a really good buy. Um, I just really loved the square shape of this one. It's in great condition. And I'm gonna leave that one as is, but it is this one that I was gonna use for today's DIY project. Um, also really nice, has a good patina. It's got a couple cracked spots, but that's okay with me. Um, but the lid is a little rough, um, so that is where I'm gonna spend most of my attention. And then I have three other picnic baskets that are very similar. Um, this kind of smaller square one here that's quite a bit more yellow than the other ones. I have this more primitive one that I like a whole lot. I will probably be keeping that one. And then just a larger size picnic basket here that has this hinged lid. Um, so I also have other picnic baskets, like you can see that stack over there. I will be keeping those and they have the woven tops though. So these four have the flat wood lids and I selected them for a reason. My idea for today is to actually decoupage some of these Cavallini posters. They are from the Cavallini Paper Company. I've gotten mine from RetroPlanet.com and Amazon. I will try to link any of these um, from my Amazon store down below, and then you guys can purchase them, them for yourself. Um, this is the Butcher's Guide one. So it has just kind of these cool maps of where to butcher animals. So I kind of like that one a whole lot. This is my favorite one. I don't know that they're printing this one anymore though. And I've used it for other projects as you can see. I just love the quality of the print on this one. And I have enough left to do one picnic basket lid. So I am happy to use that one. I think I'm gonna put that one on here. And then I have this common breeds of chicken one. So I think that'll look nice on the top of one of these. And then I thought doing a bicycle on one of the lids would be nice. It's kind of nice and springy. I'm a little concerned about doing the decoupage on this hinged lid just cause um, it just might be a little bit more tedious. I'm considering actually painting that lid and maybe doing a different technique for you today and then just doing the posters on the other three. I'm not sure yet, so I'm gonna do these three first and I'll leave that one for last after I've gotten some practice with these other more simple baskets. So all I'm gonna do is flip the baskets over, trace the right shape for the lid, cut the paper out, and I'm gonna Mod Podge it right onto the lid. It's as simple as that. After it's dried quite a bit, I will go around and distress the edges and I might even do some dark wax around the edges too to kind of age it up a little bit. But I think it'll, it's gonna look really nice and it gives me a new way to use these posters because I obviously have a few on hand that I've been waiting for something to do. So let me jump right into this project.
Okay, I'm sharing this with you guys because you always tell me that I make everything look too easy. Um, it's not always easy. I had a bit of a catastrophe here. I was way too heavy handed with the Mod Podge. I haven't done this in a while. I haven't decoupaged anything. So I, I forgot to just go really lightly with the Mod Podge. It ended up really wrinkling my paper and I tried to iron it back out. Um, but it just doesn't look good. I wouldn't feel good trying to sell it like this. So I'm taking this off. I'm going to clean off my lid again. Probably just let it dry and then sand off um, any of the leftover glue. And then start this one completely over. I should have enough left on that poster. I'll just use a different section. It's definitely a bummer though to use up some of this and have it go to waste. I don't know. I might try to use it in some other way where the distressing is not too obvious. But sometimes I mess up, guys. It's, it's true. I know you guys uh, always seem to think that it's just super easy for me. But I do mess up. Here you go. Here's some solid proof. So I'm just going to redo this one. All right, for this basket, I'm gonna start off by giving the top a couple coats of this nice creamy off-white in the Dixie Bell Silk line, and this is called Sandcastle. Try to get you zoomed in there a little bit better. There we go. So Sandcastle, so very much an off-white. I don't even know if I can really call it a white as much as like a very light tan color. So I do think it'd be nice though. I don't wanna to go too stark white with such an antique piece like this. So I think more of this cream color is gonna do a better job and kind of keep this feeling nice and rustic. So I'm gonna paint this, this off white and then I'm gonna do a grain sack stripe. And then I finally got my hands on the Iron Orchid Designs Farm Animal Stamp. So these are called Farm Animals and it comes with a sheep, a pig, a cow, a rabbit, and a rooster. So I'm gonna use those on this basket, especially with Easter coming. I feel like I wanna use either the rabbit or the sheep and keep this kind of nice and springy. I'm not sure what color I'm gonna do for the grain sack stripe. I might do either like a very light blue, similar to the duck egg blue, or the cactus green. I'm just not sure if that's gonna to be too dark for me to overlay the stamp on top. So I'm just gonna get this white down first and then bring some other colors in to see what I like best. Okay, I was just about to tape off my grain sack stripe and then I decided instead of doing that, I'm gonna paint this gingham. I haven't done that in a while and it's absolutely my favorite anyway. So I'm gonna take this opportunity to do another little gingham pattern and then I will lay my stamp over the top of that.
Okay, so now I'm playing around with that gingham basket and I'm trying to decide the layout of the stamp that I wanna use, but I think I'm gonna also pair it with some of these transfers from IOD. I haven't used this booklet yet and it's some of my favorite ones, so I think this will be the perfect time to use it. So I'm just kind of cutting up some of the different ones in there and trying to figure out a layout that looks good and not just too placed on there. Um, I think I need to distress the gingham a little bit more and make it all look very rustic. And I might go over at the end with a wax depending on if I feel like it needs it or not. So right now you're gonna see me kind of rearranging some different elements from this pack of IOD transfers, which is the traditional pots one. Let's see here. So it has a bunch of different little like French looking fonts and emblems. Um, so they're very versatile. They have two sheets of black, a sheet of white, and then a sheet of navy. Um, so I'm going to be using the black ones today to match my black ink on my stamp, and we're gonna we're gonna see how it goes.
Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you like today's content, make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.